Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 28th, right? Okay, so right around the 28th, all right? So what do we have for a message today? The Ten of Swords reverse. This is freedom, liberation. It's the end of suffering of some sort. Somebody has been suffering. Um, this could be chronic health problems. It could be, we may have somebody here that has some chronic health problems. They need, they need uh, some, some care. Somebody needs some care. This is like, uh, I don't know, maybe it's a near death experience. I mean, it could be. This is extremely painful. Uh, there's been some, this is like extremely pain. This is like the death of a situation, but it is reversed. So, um, it could be like a near-death situation. I'm not sure. What do we have? It's like something maybe nearly over. The suffering's almost over. It's almost over. What do we have for a message today? Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is putting in effort, working hard, creating something. Three of Cups reversed. Three of Cups reversed is parting ways. Parting ways. Uh, not happy. Nothing to celebrate. Work, 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 work. <laughs> work, 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 work. Working hard. Putting in effort. Somebody's trying really hard, but they're not having any fun. This isn't any fun. This isn't, something isn't any fun. Ace of Wands. Now, Ace of Wands may, may have something to do with a third party situation, but the Ace of Wands is an exciting opportunity. It's a fresh start. It's starting from scratch. This is a, um, going in a new direction. Ten of Wands, we got next to the Eight of Pentacles. We got somebody here that has worked hard to obtain success. So they're going to be putting in a lot of effort. We got somebody here that is carrying a lot of weight. They're carrying a heavy burden. They're, they are putting in a lot of work, but it's no fun. So this is doing something that you that is a lot of work. It's not any fun. So that's what the energy is. It's like, this is a lot of work, okay? This is really putting in a lot of effort to get something done. It's overwhelming. Uh, this is overwhelming. But that Three of Cups reverse, I'm, I, there's something going on here. Um, there's a lack of emotional growth. Somebody's been going overboard. The party is over. The party is over. Now it's time to put in work. It's time to put in the work for this new life, for this new exciting opportunity that you have in front of you. Taking a new approach. The party is over. It's time to get busy. It's time to get busy. Okay? The, the party is over. The party is over. You've been going overboard. It was fun, but the fun is over. Okay? It's time to, to get down to business. Five of Pentacles reverse. Coming out of the darkness. Uh, this is a turning point. Uh, getting help or going after help. Uh, seeing things. Uh, somebody has been neglecting. Maybe neglecting their health. Going overboard. Somebody's been neglecting. They've been, or they've been ne neglecting their job or neglecting their business. They've been neglecting something. Refusing to... Uh, I don't know, it feels like take ownership or to get help or to change or something. Victim mentality, you know, feeding feeding their victim mentality, doing a lot of playing, having a lot of fun, you know, partying. But anyway, the party is over. Uh, five of Pentacles reverse. This is a turning point. Seeing improvements, starting to see improvements, uh, taking a new approach, getting a new vision. Somebody is, is doing something. I think it has to do with growth. It has to do with their health, focusing on health. It could be the health of their business. could be the health of their body. Focusing on health, coming out of the darkness. Um, the party is definitely over. This is, there's hard work ahead, okay? 
hero font reversed. Hero font reversed, not listening. Not listening to the gut. This is a, some sort of um, poor counsel. Somebody may have not been listening, you know, to their gut, or they may have received poor counsel, or uh, they may have, may have been having a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure, or there's some sort of not listening, not listening, not listening to the gut, not listening, not very spiritual. There's a relationship here that's not on the same page, and it could be, it could be a commitment. It could be a marriage. It could be a relationship with alcohol or drugs or an addiction or whatever it is. There is something here that is not on the same page. Okay, you're not, there's a need to listen. There's a need to, uh, part ways because that three of cups reverses parting ways. Parting ways from friends or family. There's no support. It's over. The party is over. This this is a disgrace. There's some sort of disgrace with the Hierophant reverse. There's poor counsel. Somebody may have there's a there could definitely be a third party situation here. Somebody was abandoned. They were neglected. There's a strong desire for something more. There's a strong desire here for something more. Wheel of Fortune reversed. That is a setback. It's bad news. It's bad luck. It may have something to do with a father, but that right next to that hero font. Doesn't have to be. We also have Taurus here. Um Wheel of Fortune reverse. This is like a loss. It is a setback. It's repeating negative patterns, clinging to control. Um, unfortunate loss. Not listening. Somebody hasn't been listening. They haven't been listening to their gut. So they, are, they may have experienced a setback or an unfortunate loss, could be financial loss. But there is gonna be, there's gonna be, there's an exciting new opportunity for growth here with the Ace of Wands right around the corner. This is a turning point. Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands is triumphant news arriving, good news. Uh, things speeding up, things changing fast. Yeah, you're ready. Are you ready? Things are going to change fast. Things are going to change really fast. Four of Cups right next to that Eight of Wands. We got somebody here that has been ignoring something. And I think I said that already. Oh, that was my other reading. But this is like not interested wanting more, looking for more. Somebody's looking for more. It's like they, they're they not interested. And there is a third party situation here. It's like there there's an opportunity for emotional, something emotional that could, you know, love. It's like, but I'm not interested. I want to go in another direction. So I feel like we have somebody here that's about to make a move. There's been a delay. They've probably been in a commitment that is not on the same page. They've been trying hard to make something work. But there's been neglect, okay? And they want something more. They want something more. We have somebody here that is really thinking about love. They're thinking about what their heart needs, what their heart wants. And I feel like they're about to make a bold move because the Ace of Wands to me is very bold. It is a time of growth. It is a time of inspiration. So I do believe that we have somebody here that is ready. They're ready for something more. 
coming out of the cold, coming out of the darkness. Somebody has been in a dark place and they've had a lot of setbacks. Ooh, the lovers. Lovers is an unexpected choice, right? This is a choice between two options. Could also be dealing with a Gemini, but this is uh, an angel that is bringing two people together, or has brought two people together that, you know, are meant to be together at this time. This is like a perfect match, right? Somebody is going to be, somebody is thinking about their perfect match. They are. They could be running into somebody. They could be. Or there's going to be communication or there's going to be movement with this perfect match, whoever this perfect match is. This is increasing speed, increasing communication. Strong uh, attraction. Right, it's, it goes the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Lover's card, okay? That's, that's, that's like a strong, passionate connection, okay? There's passion, there's a sexual attraction, it's, it's, uh, there's chemistry here. I got a sneeze coming. Justice, choice, decision, contract. We have we have contracts. We have t twice here, so we have we have consequences. We have a choice. We have a decision. Somebody is making a decision. They're making a choice based on the facts, based on the truth. There's some sort of alignment here. Things realigning. Doing the right thing. Being honest. There's going to be some honest communication between two people that have some sort of contract with each other. This is definitely a contract. We could have the end of a third party situation. We did have that Ten of Swords. Somebody may have thought something was over. It's not over yet. You're about to see progress. Okay, get prepared. Get prepared for some sort of increase or some sort of message to come. It could be a surprise. This is a fresh start. It's exciting. You know, and this doesn't this doesn't have to be somebody from the past. This could be somebody brand new. And you're not even looking for this person. You're not even looking. You know, this could be you're not even looking for this person, okay? Working, working, working. Got so much on your plate, and you somebody could literally run into somebody. Could meet, be meeting somebody through their job, or they met this person through their through a job. It has to do with a job. It has to do with work. This has to do with work. I do believe that we have somebody here that's about to be putting in effort. They're going to put effort into a partnership that they may have neglected. Maybe they weren't looking for one because they were in a previous commitment and they had to separate, you know? Something could definitely be coming back around with that Wheel of Fortune reversed. It definitely could. You may have thought it was over. It's not over. Ace of Cups, new start in love, okay? This is a flood of emotion. I also feel like we have somebody here that did receive poor counsel or they were having a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure. Now they're going to be open and upfront. They're going to be on they're being honest with themselves. They're making a decision. Somebody is making a decision based on the truth. They were in some sort of denial. They were in some sort of victim mentality or they were in a third party situation that they were committed to. 
you know, and they put a lot of effort into making that work and it was weighing them down. And now, you know, this could be an epiphany, um, seeing the truth. There is some sort of truth that is about to come out. Some truthful communication is coming. Somebody has a has a desire, you know, and it's a sexual connection here as well. I mean, if it's a, if that's the kind of partnership this is, it is definitely a strong desire. It's passionate love, okay, or hate with that ace of wands, but it looks like it's love to me, and I don't think it's hate. I don't. I think it's love. Somebody is getting an, an offer or an invite or they're going to be communicating with somebody. This is like, uh, I think it's loving messages. I do. I feel like it's loving messages or it's falling in love or it's a new start in love. Um, this is definitely a turning point. Somebody is all done. They're parting ways. They're parting ways from the third party. And the third party doesn't have to be, it could be a family member. It could be friends that got in the way. It could be, it could be a lover. But there is somebody here that is parting ways from somebody that gave them, you know, that they were committed to uh, listening to or, you know, this person gave them bad advice or they were committed to this person in a commitment. This is like somebody that their party that doesn't support them, that has... Uh, made them feel like they can't go in that direction, you know. I feel like we have somebody here that has been held back from their destiny. I mean, we have destiny twice with the Wheel of Fortune in the, in the Lover's card. This is like destiny. It's like meant to be. This is a partnership that is meant to be. Okay, so we have two people coming together that are meant to be together. Um, but there's been a delay with the with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. And I think there's been a delay because of a third party, whoever the third party is, or because somebody was partying and they were playing games and they were playing the victim and they maybe they just weren't looking for a commitment, you know, something because the hero font reverse is not, you know, not looking for a commitment or they were already in a commitment. Either way, I do believe that there is a decision with the justice and the lover's card. This is definitely an unexpected decision. Things are about to change. Um, somebody is going to be making a choice, okay, um, that moves them down a new path. They're following their heart. They're going to be expressing feelings. They've been ignoring an opportunity for love, but I feel like they're they're gonna take it. I do, I feel like they're gonna take it. I just cut it to the sun card, which is happiness. This is a yes answer. This is a breakthrough, it's a new day, it's a new beginning. This is happy, joy, free, you know. Beautiful. Beautiful new beginning. making a decision sudden decision above the justice is the ace of wands the ace of wands is sudden this is a sudden decision next to the eight of wands move forward move quick move fast somebody is going to be moving very quickly in a new direction this is exciting this leads to a partnership absolutely open your heart just go for it Good luck.